What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Wisconsin Fishing Outdoors. We're doing a good old MTB slam. I have limited time today, so everything's already rigged up and ready to go here. And uh, I'll be kind of talking about the baits. There's not going to be a real unboxing. Um, I'll be kind of talking about the baits as I go along here. But I'm going to start off with this Strike Pro jerk bait. It's actually a pretty cool design. It looks a lot like an I'm a flit. Um, but this looks like it should catch fish and it's windy today and the water's clear so like i said the, the audio might be totally trash because of the wind but hopefully we can get some fish for you guys and wow first cast that's a good sign this is why i don't use favorite reels because they stink i'm also going into the wind here so that really doesn't help too much Oh, there's a fish. Feels good too. Oh, feels really good. It's my second cast with this jerk bait. Oh, it feels really good, guys. That's a good fish. This is a good fish for this pond. He smoked it too. There we go. Fish number one of this MTV slam. Again, with this this pond, all of these fish in here are super orange. I don't know if you guys can see that. In the last video, you couldn't really see it, but uh there's some really cool colors on the fish in this pond. I got them right in the corner of the mouth too. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Right there on the uh, Strike Pro jerkbait. Right there, look at that, that's pretty cool. That's cool, that's my second cast with that jerkbait. And yeah, jerkbaits are hot in this pond, but that's awesome. All right, see you, dude. All right, next up, I'm gonna try and knock out the baits that I think I can do relatively quickly here. But uh, this next up is a crankbait. This is a Ima square bill. I believe this is a up to four foot diving crankbait. And uh, apparently you can work this kind of like a jerk bait. So that's kind of what I'm gonna go for here. So I'm just gonna kind of keep fishing on this side because of the wind. In this pond, whenever, and in, in a lot of ponds actually, this is kind of a quick tip for you guys. But in a lot of ponds, when you get these, uh, not really cold fronts that come through, but just like windy days, after rain and stuff. Usually wherever that wind is pushed into on the other side of the pond, you'll get the bait. The bait gets pushed up there too. So a lot of these bass are gonna sit kind of on the outside of the windy area and uh, kind of prey on that bait as it's sitting on the windy side of the pond. Good Lord, right where I'm trying to fish too. My next cast was literally gonna be right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, what the hell? One's underwater. What is going on? Are they about to do, are they about to do the dirty or what? If anyone else has ever had this problem with their GoPros where it keeps saying SD error, but you formatted the SD card how many million times and then you re start the recording and it just goes for like half an hour before saying it again. Uh, if anybody else has had that problem and you know how to fix it, please let me know. Shoot me an email, put a comment in the comment section below because it is really bugging me. I lost a whole ice fishing trip this last winter because of an SD failure. There's a fish. Oh my God, it feels really big. It feels really big. What is this? Oh yeah, that's a fish, dude. Heck yeah. That's not that big, but that's a fish. In the mouth. In the freaking mouth. Gosh, that feels so good, you guys. But there's fish numero dos on the uh, I'm a square bill right there. Just as the GoPro is about to die, we got the uh, another fish. And again, with that beautiful orange coloring on the top. There we go. Not a giant, but I'll take it. See ya. Man, he dug so hard. The fish in here fight like crazy, dude. Hey right, guys, so I'm switching from the jerk bait on this uh, 7 1 St. Croix medium heavy to this river to sea swim bait, I believe. Hang on, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say this wrong. There's this rig walker. 
by River to Sea. It's a nice little paddle tail swim bait that they got pre-rigged on a nice uh, jig head for you inside. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited to try this actually. <laughs> There's one. Oh, jeez, my drag is so low. <laughs> On that swim bait. That's a good one. There we go. Oh my god. Look how he ate it. Holy. Look how he just crushed that. I wish they ate, like, oh my god. Wow, pop right out. Look at that. That is insane. Wow, little guy, but still. Awesome. All these fish kind of look the same. But, uh, see a dude. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. River to see, River to see Rig Walker knocked out right there. Just throwing that on the Shimano Canyon and the St. Card Bass X, I guess. I'm gonna go to the spinner bait now. It should work, but there's no, this doesn't come with a trailer hook, which is a concern of mine. I don't know. And also, it's really wide. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that compared to a normal spinnerbait, but the blades are way out to the side. And uh, not real sure if that is gonna help the hookup ratio at all. But uh, we'll, we'll try. I don't know, we'll see. Don't have super high hopes for this, but I have higher hopes, higher hopes for this than the uh, Texas rig. All right, spinnerbait was a no-go. It's not that I don't think it's a bad spinnerbait. It's just not really, it's not going to work for what we're trying to do today. Wow, look at this. This is really interesting right now. But now I'm going to switch up to this worm again. This could end absolutely disastrously. It's a Catch Code Pro Series. I believe this is a trigger worm, trigger worm, catch go flicker worm, flicker worm. That's what it's called. I wanted to get the name right. It's a good color for this pond, but again, it's windy. These bass might not, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And this is a definitely a drop shot worm, but again, we got to use what's in the box. So I'm using the must add hook here to try and get two baits done with one fish which is an awesome way to fill out your mtv slam there's a fish oh my god that was a bass that was a bass i hope you guys saw that that was pretty cool same exact spot well this could be four out of five right here ladies and gentlemen or five out of six There he is. Finally. Oh, he... oh, that was fish number four. Oh, that would have been bait five too. He never even got up to the, dang it. Oh. All right, you know what, that's it. Oh, dang it. Well, we came close guys, we came like just about as close as you can get about one foot too far away from the shore and we would have had a slam one bait away from being complete but that spinner bait it's pretty much impossible to catch a fish here on in my opinion thank you guys so much for watching and uh be prepared for a double upload this weekend so that'll be pretty sick and uh yeah see you next time on wisconsin fishing and outdoors Crips sitting for the taste is over cross